Hey everyone, Mark here at Matterport. Wanted to cover how to bring in your three-dimensional point cloud data into Revit. So what we have here is a pump room uh, that we're to show you. First go into my.matterport.com, go to your folder in the space that you'd like to enter into your three-dimensional programs. So this is a very standard pump room. Uh, four different pumps, I believe, and uh, the goal here is to get this into a Revit model. So we did the scan, uh, fully covered the entire location, so all aspects of the location that we need are in view. So think about what you need that you're going to be using at your workstation when you're doing this CAD work, when you're developing this model. So first thing you do, left side of the screen, matter pack. Click that and save that to your computer. This is a zip file. Then from the zip file, you're going to open it up and then unzip the contents of this data set, of this folder, to your computer. So here I'm locating the folder that I want to save it in. I'm making sure to save it to the computer in the proper folder that I can easily access it. And I'm, I'm familiar with the location because you're going to go back and refer to this in a moment. So I'm typing it in just 3D data within the pump room. I'm saving it and unzipping the information. Here's the information real quick. Just a number of mosaic JPEG images as well as some flat uh, 2D uh, floor plan and ceiling plan, uh, also known as the color plan that we're making available to you. In addition is the XYZ point cloud and the OBJ mesh. So this information is all important, so we're going to bring this all into Recap. Recap is Autodesk's path into Reality Capture, into point clouds. So this is the process set out by Autodesk. New project, I'm calling it the Pump Room, and this program, Recap, is going to view the point cloud. We're opening up the folder, the entire folder, and we're going to select that entire folder, including the data I just showed you. And again, it's important to have all this information brought in rather than just the XYZ. I recommend that all the information is brought in. There's that 3D data folder, and then we're going to run through the options. Uh, the point cloud has been brought in. One is able to utilize the coordinate system that has been set up by uh, this folder, this matter pack folder. This is also a location where you can enter in your own coordinate systems. We're going to import and index this single scan. This takes just a few moments. Uh, compared to a laser system, this is far faster. Here we have the view in recap of that same space. One is able to go through the space. You can delete points. You can reduce them to obscure them to not delete them, but to get rid of them for review. This is where you do that work in Recap. Here we're exporting it. The goal of the export here, RCP or RCS folder. RCS is a single scan. So we're going to bring in the single scan of the pump room and then optimize and save it. This is saving versions in the Autodesk program uh, parameters. So the previous folder I showed you that we unzipped, that has now become redundant. You can delete that. You can archive it. Uh, it's always available at the my.matterport.com page. Here we're back in Revit. Revit, the goal is to uh, open up this point cloud and then use this point cloud as a reference for designing and creating a model. So right now I have that pump room and this is the scan that we brought in, just the two-dimensional view from above, and you can start laying out walls. You can start doing the work that you need to do to enable you to create the model that's necessary. Compared to manual measurements, this is far, far faster. So here we are creating that model. Um, this is just a quick reference, a quick uh, show of how to do that, uh, but a person is able to then create the entire model. Here's a 3D view. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to bring up the view after it's been completed. It's going to be in the Autodesk Viewer website, uh, but we're able to view the entire space that's been rendered in uh, Revit, and this is just a quick uh, exploded view, but this is what you're able to do. And it takes that manual work 
for the uh, expert in Revit, but it's a very straightforward process. Let me know if you have any questions about this video, everybody. Again, this is Mark from Matterport AEC. I'd love to hear your questions, and I'll talk to you again soon.